Hi, and welcome to the Red Rock Microsystems tutorial on setting up your M2 adapter. I'm Brian Valenti from Red Rock Microsystems, and first we want to say thank you so much for purchasing our product. We've worked really hard to bring you a high quality product at a very reasonable price, and we intend to continue doing so into the future. Over the next few minutes, we're going to cover the adapter itself, all the components of it, and how to set it up to get the best possible quality image out of your DV or HD camera. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Before we get into the setup of the adapter plus the camera, it's helpful if you understand a little bit about how the adapter actually works. We're not going to get into the technical details, but just conceptually it would be good if you understand the basic mechanics by which 35mm lens adapters in the Red Rock M2 operate. The analogy I like to use is imagine you're sitting in a movie theater watching a movie. You're sitting in the theater, you're watching a big screen upon which the movie is projected, except imagine that the, the uh, film projector for the movie is actually projecting from behind the screen. So in order, you have the movie projector projecting onto the screen that you're watching while sitting in the audience. The principle of the Red Rock M2 adapter is the same, except here's the difference. The projector is the image coming through the 35 millimeter lens. The screen is actually a little screen inside the M2 adapter, and the thing watching it in the audience is actually your video camera. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, the video camera has to focus on a very, very tiny screen inside of the adapter. In fact, the screen is only about 36 millimeters by 24 millimeters. This is what the important purpose of the Acromat is, and a lot of folks have wondered about exactly what the purpose of this particular lens is. And it's like a big magnifying glass. So imagine if you're trying to focus very, very small onto this tiny film screen, uh, that's the purpose of the Acromat, to give you kind of a magnifying glass or give your video camera the magnifying glass that allows it to focus on this little itty bitty screen. And then, of course, the 35 millimeter lens being the projector, so to speak, actually takes whatever you're shooting outside and projects it onto the little tiny screen inside of the adapter. And if you want to see what this really looks like, you can take your adapter and your 35 millimeter lens, take it off the rods, go outside, point it at something interesting, and you can look inside the adapter and actually see the little bitty movie inside there on the screen. So if that makes sense, then just keeping that in mind as we go through and set up the adapter with your camera, it will be very helpful for you in understanding this so that you can actually think conceptually about how this is all going to fit together. 